welcome to the Royal Variety Performance 1997 from the Victoria Palace Theatre in London, where Emma Forbes is waiting to greet us. As far as the 
So the traffic cut is down and the audience makes to leave, but we now go backstage with the Queen and Prince Philip who will be meeting some of the stars who perform tonight. Laurie Mansfield introduces Her Majesty to Nigel Lithgow, controller of entertainment at London Weekend Television. He also had the mammoth task of producing the show for TV tonight. He's now going to introduce two members of his very experienced team, associate producers Jeff Thacker and uh, Isabel Hatton. The show's musical director, Trevor Brown. And with the cast of the hit musical Chicago having left to do another show, the Queen now meets Lucy Williamson, Carmen in another hit, Fame. Samuel Tretto and Elena Lev from Cirque du Soleil's Alegria. A great hit of the evening, Trevor James and Sid the Parrot. Jonathan Ross, who introduced us to comedian Andy Leach and big, big talent show winner, 16-year-old singer, Lydia Griffiths. Vladimir, who flew in from Las Vegas. Queen now meets Matthew Bourne, director choreographer of Swan Lake, and the two principal dancers, Scott Ambler and Adam Cooper. The big, big collar of Harry Hill. Michael Ball, who sang with Broadway star Barbara Cook. Jolly Jester's Joe Pasquale and Brian Conley. The hauntingly beautiful voice of Enya. It's hello to him, and it's hello to him. Showstopper is a term often used, but rarely seen in show business. Without doubt, the two Ronnies stopped the show tonight when they arrived on a motorbike and sidecar masquerading as the two fat ladies. It was their first time on stage together in ten years. Michael Bolton, who flew in especially from Italy for tonight's performance. Emma, Victoria, Mel C, Jerry and Mel B. Together, the Spice Girls. Who'd have thought that 18 months ago their music would have conquered the world, allowing them to meet its leaders? Everyone from Nelson Mandela to Prince Charles, and now Her Majesty the Queen. Jim Davidson, a favorite of the Queen's, both she and the Duke chuckled at his cheeky corgi joke. Celine Dion, the first lady of song, who delighted us with two beautiful ballads tonight. Finally, the master of the big occasion, Des O'Connor. I don't advise you to take it from walk up into High Street as Mr. Pascrant suggested. A reference to Leslie the Camel there. Des always relaxed on these highly charged occasions. As the royal party prepares to leave, the Duke of Edinburgh has a final word for the cast. Oh, well, happy Christmas. Thank you, Thank you very much, sir. So, with those seasonal words, it's goodbye from all of us on the 1997 Royal Variety Performance.